first topic is on mobile phone applications and that is under Team Six of Risk, which is supporting the global rice sector. And two products are being addressed on effective systems for large-scale adoption of price technologies in South, Southeast, and East Asia. And our presenters are Dr. Roland Goresh, Principal Scientist, Mr. Marco Vandenberg, our Head of ITS, and they will be joined by Ms. Rowena Castillo, Assistant Scientist of CDS. Thanks for the validity 
ang mga tagubilit sa Tagalog, tigutinan ng kawal. Kung gusto ka makatumbok sa kalimang noga si Juan, tuklo ka ang number two. Nung kaya't yun at ingen, nagiti ang nuruden, hindi ito ko, italunod yun din number three. If you want to hear the instructions in English, press four. Welcome. This is the new trend manager for RISE, a new service of the Department of Agriculture and Blue that provides guidelines for fertilizing your RISE crop. Answer a statement by pressing the appropriate number on your phone. After all statements have been answered, you will receive a text message indicating how much fertilizer to apply to your field for a higher profit through more yield per amount of fertilizer use. Anytime you would like to repeat the question, press the asterisk key on the bottom left-hand side of the phone's keypad. Now let's begin. If you need a fertilizer guideline for the wet season, press 1. If for the dry season, press 2. If you will transplant, press 1. If you will direct seed, press 2. <coughs> if you will grow an inbred, press 1. If you will grow a hybrid, press 2. If you will transplant less than 23 day old seedlings, press 1. If the seedlings are 23 days or older, press 2. Identify the growth duration of the variety that you will use from transplanting to harvest. If it is about 90 days, such as that of RC82, RC14, or RC10, press 1. If it is about 95 to 100 days, such as that of RC146, RC156, or RC158, press 2. If the area of your field to be fertilized is less than 1 hectare, press 1. If it is 1 hectare, press 2. If it is between 1 to 2 hectares, press 3. How many kilograms does a sack of harvested fresh palai typically weigh after threshing? Please enter between 30 and 70 kilograms for the weight of a sack. Then press the number sign key on the bottom right hand side of the keypad. For the wet season, how many sacks of fresh palai per hectare are typically harvested right after threshing? Please enter the total number of sacks, then press the number sign key. For the previous dry season, how many sacks of fresh palai per hectare were harvested? Please enter the total number of stacks, then press the number sign key. If the water supply throughout the growing period of rice during wet season in the past years was adequate to meet crop needs, press 1. If there was a shortage of water during crop growth, because of no irrigation or insufficient irrigation that resulted in drought stress and reduction in yield, press 2. If rice straw from the previous dry season was left or burned on the pile after threshing and not spread over the field, press 1. If rice straw from the pile was returned and spread over the field after threshing, press 2.
If your field is located in low-lying area near a lake or river, press 1. If not, press 2. If your field is in a basin or valley bottom, collecting eroded soil and other materials from higher areas during rainy season, press 1. If not, press 2. Occasionally, the Department of Agriculture sends text message notifications of interest to farmers. If you would like to receive these additional messages, press 1. If you do not want these additional messages, press 2. You will now receive the fertilizer recommendation for a hectare field to your phone as a text message. The text message will indicate the number of bags of each fertilizer that you will need to apply at a given time in the season that you have selected for the one hectare field size. Thank you for calling. Thank you for listening. <laughs> so this is, this is the kind of output from the NM Rice Mobile, we call it NM Rice Mobile for this mobile phone application. And with this, you will help um, bring together public and private sector partners and of course to ensure nurse ownership and promotion and dissemination, local partners here in the Philippines are given opportunity to give their inputs in terms of the development of the promotional materials. Just like what we had um, on July 14 and 15, we had this training workshop on electronic extension services on proper nutrient management for us in the Philippines, which was participated by different organizations of the Department of Agriculture.